I got the numbers, I got the numbers. In this video, I will be sharing with you the Memphis housing market numbers for August, 2024. If you don't know who I am, I'm Deborah Taylor, a licensed Tennessee real estate agent servicing the greater Memphis region. I provide real estate related information, data and tips so that you as a home buyer or seller can navigate the real estate process with ease and confidence. In the month of August, there was a negative 9% drop in the total home sales for the Memphis, Tennessee region. In August, 2024, there was 1,460 homes sold. There's 133 homes less than August, 2023. There was also a negative 5% decrease in the median sales price. In Shelby County, there was a negative 10% decrease in the total sale of homes during the month of August, 2024. There was also a negative 10% decrease in the median sales price. This means that you could have bought a home in Shelby County for $195,000. That's $21,000 less than August, 2023. What's happening? Can you say falling prices? In Fayette County, there was a 36% increase in the total number of home sales, 36%. There was also a 20% increase in the median sales price. So in August, 2024, in Fayette County, you can buy a home for about $400,000. In Tipton County, Tipton County saw a negative 19% decrease in the total number of sales. Tipton County sold less homes than Shelby County, Tennessee. There was a negative 4% decrease in the total median sales price for Tipton County. This meant that in August, 2024, you could have bought a home in Tipton County for about $264,000 compared to August, 2023, when you would have paid $275,000 for that home. What does all this mean? In Shelby County and Tipton County, there was a decrease in the total number of homes sold and in the median sales price. If you're looking to buy an affordable home, it's better to look in Shelby County when you could have bought a home for about $195,000 in the month of August. In Fayette County, there was a 36 percent increase in the total number of homes sold and in the median sales price. From what I gather, it appears that more people are looking to buy homes in Fayette County than they are in either Tipton or in Shelby County. Or it can also mean that there's just not enough homes in either area. In either case, the total number of sales in regards to the overall big picture in Shelby County declined while Fed County increased. So if you like information like this, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. What in the green fried tomatoes happened in Lakeland during the month of August, 2024? Can you say that they saw a total sales of 87%? Like it looks like a whole lot of growth is going on. While Germantown saw a decline of negative 31%. Arlington didn't move a peep in August, 2024. This means they sold the same number of homes as they did in August, 2023. In spite of the median sales price decreasing negative 5.3%.
you could have bought a home in Arlington for $453,500. Downtown is dropping like a hot potato. There is a negative 25% decrease in the total number of sales for the month of August, 2024. And the median sales price, negative 23.1%. If you want to buy a home in downtown, you can get it for about $125,750 during the month of August 2024. Need I say more? Southwind saw a negative 37.5% decrease in the total sales for the month of August 2024. And the median sales price dropped to negative 30%. Is this South Wind blowing somewhere else? You can buy a home in South Wind during the month of August 2024 for $232,000. It looks like people are leaving Memphis in spite of all the building that's going on. A whole lot of shaking going on. Until next time, bye y'all.